You know, every day across Tennessee, hundreds of TDOT workers and contractors are out on the roads alongside your cars and trucks. And when people are driving too fast or just not paying attention, it can be deadly. For this Work Zone Awareness Week, News Channel 5's traffic anchor Rebecca Schleicher introduces us to one woman who's made it her mission to make people pay attention in work zones after tragedy struck her own family. Uh, is one of for the Sarah shirts. Tolentino. And they took, took the work shirt just to, just to have a little piece of him. All she has left of her dad. Uh, then when things like this happen, it really comes to, you come to grips with what's important in life. Our pictures and, uh, and memories. He was, just, he was a clown. He loved to goof off and have fun. A man who loved wearing hats, fishing trips, above all, his family. He was a hard worker and David Younger quickly rose the ranks to become a TDOT crew supervisor. But three years ago, along Interstate 40, everything changed. Uh, he was helping a different crew that had a flat, which, I mean, of course, that's my dad. He's going to stop and help anybody. And then just out of the blue, somebody that's not paying attention comes and just plows through the whole crew. It was a horrific crash, and troopers say tractor-trailer driver Candelario Castillo wasn't under the influence. He just wasn't paying attention. But there was no, absolutely no reason for the wreck to even happen. Younger was the 110th TDOT worker killed on the job. Since then, two more have lost their lives. But Sarah is holding out hope that her pain can help get more people to slow down, move over, and pay attention. If one person can change their, their style of driving, their means of being safe, then maybe they can influence one more person and they can influence one more. That way, hundreds of other dads continue to make it home. By taking it easy in work zones, the life you save could be your own. Last year, 20 people died in work zone crashes in Tennessee and three in Kentucky, and most of those people killed weren't actually workers. They were drivers or passengers. In the studio, Rebecca Schleicher, News Channel 5.